Hey, what is up, guys? This is James, and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can use Hue Saturation Curve in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, if you want to use Hue Saturation Curve, then you need to go to Window, and from here, you need to enable Lumetri Color, right? Click here, then select a video, and from this Lumetri Color panel, you have to go to Curve section. From this Curve section, the second one is hue saturation curves right so how you can use those curves the first one is hue versus saturation these curves actually alter the saturation of any hue if you want to increase the color of any tone from your video then you can use this section suppose you want to increase the color of this blue sky the sky is not looking that much saturated to you for this reason you may want to increase the saturation of this sky to increase the saturation of the sky you need to make a selection here on this curve you need to select the blue color how you can select the blue color you can use this eyedropper tool to select the color if you click here then if you click on this blue color it will make a selection on this curve right then you can just click and drag to make the sky more saturated right and if you want to decrease the saturation of the sky then you can click and drag it just like that it will take out the color from the sky right so if you want to increase the saturation just click and drag it here it will increase the saturation the next one is hue versus hue this curve actually altered the hue of any hue suppose you want to change the color of your blue sky to a teal color sky right how you can do that just like before you have to select the eyedropper tool then you have to click here on the sky it will select the color now if you click and drag it it will change the color of your sky how cool is that right if you want to make it teal just click and drag it maybe this much it will make the color of your sky teal right that is looking awesome right so every time you don't need to use the eyedropper tool you can select the color manually so maybe you want to change the plant color to a more warmest tone right how you can do that you need to select the green color just like that and then you can click and drag it to change the tone of your green grass right so if you click and drag it it will change the color of this green plan so that's it that is how you can use hue versus saturation the next one is hue versus luma suppose you want to increase the lightness of any color then you can use this curve suppose you want to decrease the lightness of your sky then you have to select the sky color just like that and then if you click and drag it it will decrease the brightness of sky again if you want to brighten up the sky a lot then you can click and drag it just like that it will increase the brightness of your sky so when you need to increase the brightness of any color then you can use this section. suppose you are working with a video where there are some people just like this one maybe you want to brighten up the face of these people right what can you do you can just select the color of their face then you can just click and increase it to make the face more brighter right again if you look on this video this one maybe you want to change the color of this car how you can do that you can just go to here which is hue versus hue click the eyedropper tool select the color of your car then you can just click and drag it to change the color of your car maybe you want a blue car then you can just click it towards the blue color right so that is a cool way to change the color of any object in your video the next one is luma versus saturation this one right let's see what luma versus saturation curve do if i just click and drag it globally it will decrease all of the color of my video right just like this one so how you can use that maybe you have color graded this video from this creative tab maybe you have introduced some warm color here maybe a lot warm color and again some warm color right now look at the video the video contains some color on the darker section usually when you are shooting a darker video the darker section doesn't contain that much color for that kind of scenario you have to use luma versus saturation curve now let's go to luma versus saturation and from here if you just click and select a portion of this section and click and drag it it will decrease the saturation of the darker area you can see now the darker area doesn't contain any color and again if you want to increase the color of the midtones and highlights then you can just click and just drag it over to the top it will increase the color on the midtones and the highlights right again you can alter the color just by dragging this section how much color you want on the midtone and uh, shadow section if that is looking too much then you can always decrease the color to switch your video right maybe this much so the darker section doesn't have any color but still the faces and the midtone area have some color so that is how you can use luma versus saturation so now the last one which is saturation versus saturation what these curves do 
let's select this clip and now if i take a point here and increase it maybe this much and then if i click and drag this section and again if i increase this section you can see the most saturated color of this video is intact but the less saturated colors are gone right so you can use this curve to alter the saturation of any saturated subject or less saturated subject suppose you want to decrease the color of the saturated color right then you have to click and drag this section and you want to increase the saturation of the muted color or less saturated color in that kind of scenario you need to click and drag this section so that it contains more color it can compete with the saturated color of this car right so you can see the other things beside the car is now more saturated so that's it that is how you can use hue saturation curve inside adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have any question you can write me in the comment section below and if you have liked this video or learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then go subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye